Are you ready to begin? Good morning, Han. How did you sleep? I had a really weird dream. I don't remember much. I think I was dying. That isn't morbid or anything. Let's lighten it up a little for 10.30 in the morning. What do you mean? I can't think of a better discussion that we could have at the breakfast table than death. Thanks, Han. Why, what's the preferred way I would like to die? Excellent question. I would like to be... I think you've had enough time to get situated. Let's bring you out. What? This is going to be a lot to take in. I need you to be calm. It's much easier for everyone, especially me, when you're calm. What are you talking about? What, what's happening? Let's wake you up first, then we'll talk. Wake me? What? Hey, hey, hey! Take it easy. Calm down now. Everything's fine. Deep breaths. If you don't calm down right now, I'm gonna have to sedate you. Nobody wants that. Much better. Now then. I know we're still early in the pairing process, but now that the core memories are installed, the procedure should go very smoothly.
You have questions. Of course you do. My apologies. I like prodding a little before all your memories are installed. The pairing process varies from case to case, so some gather recent memories more quickly than others. What the fuck are you talking about? Sorry, I'll cut right to it. You are a clone. A copy of someone else. The man we copied is very ill. Terminal, in fact. Still fairly young, has the money to preserve himself. So, while his physical existence won't live on, his consciousness will. In you. You're nearly identical in every way, except for that unfavorable medical history. Not that any of that really matters. Right now, your brain is busy sorting through all of his memories, figuring them out, filing them, putting them where they belong. Pretty soon, well, they'll be your memories. Are you still listening? You said is. I, I'm sorry, what? You said the man we cloned is very sick, not was. Well, yeah, he's still alive. He has to be for the procedure. We put him in a coma. Um, once the memories are paired and the procedure is complete, we pull the plug. I can show you the paperwork if you think it'll make you feel better. I want to see him. I don't think that's a very good idea. Why not? Well, it's a very difficult thing to process seeing your own dying self. I don't care. I want to see him anyway. Okay, so technically, I'm not supposed to do this. However, the clones that I oversee usually ask for it. And what I found is that it helps them to come to terms with the idea, which in turn helps the pairing process. But you have to promise to be calm. If you start losing your shit again and someone comes in to check and sees me doing this, I'm not going to be happy, okay? Like I said, it's a lot to take in. So, he knows he's gonna die? Yep, he signed over his entire life to us. Before the procedure, he identifies his happiest memory. Then we go in, pull it out, and play it on loop for him. And that's the memory I saw? Exactly. It serves a dual purpose. It relaxes him and makes him more comfortable before we pull the plug. We've also found that high-impact positive memories pair most easily. So like I said, once you pair the first memory, everything falls into place. Close your eyes and think of that memory again. Go on, do it. It's just the same things I saw before. I don't remember this. You see? The memories are already filling in. Hey, how's it going? I got you a present. It's nothing, really. Back when I was like six and obsessed with horses, my parents gave this to me for Christmas. I wore it for years. It sounds stupid, but this necklace was everything to me. God damn it, this sounds sappy as fuck. I don't know. You mean the world to me. So I just think the two should be together. Who is she? Oh, you must be referring to Laura, your fiancé. Fiancé? Yes, and she's been very anxious to know how the procedure went. In fact, I'm going to go give her the good news. Wait, what happens to me now? 
Well, pretty much you just sit here and wait until all of your memories have been copied and sorted. I mean, what happens to me, me? Technically, there is no you, you. I mean, sure, you have your own physical body, but your consciousness is entirely his. I mean, basically, you are him. Well, I mean, at least you will be. I keep telling you, it's some deep shit. Anyway, I'm going to go tell your fiancé the good news. Hey, I almost forgot. I gotta put you back under. No, I'm fine. I don't. I don't need to go back under. Sorry, protocol dictates that I can't leave you awake and unattended if you're not fully paired. B but you already broke protocol once today. You let me see my original self. Uh, nope. This is one rule that can't even be bent. that conversation, don't I? Oh, yeah. Another one that wanted to know all about his own consciousness. I know the board wants us to show the clones their originals to speed up the pairing. It's such a pain in the ass to wipe the conversation log. You know none of us are happy with it, but we have to follow protocol. 